Hello everyone, this is Pakshta Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. I also want to remind you that some of my video courses are already available. Buy them if you haven't done it yet. I would really appreciate your support. Today I continue showing you this series of videos on working with the basic patterns. My basic pattern is made on the basis of my 10 measurement cutting system. I'd like to make several lessons about classic women's jackets. I am also going to make a course on how to sew single breasted jackets. Today I'm going to talk to you about a double breasted jacket. There will be side details instead of the side seams, and the waist tags will go down to the pockets. Most of the techniques are the same as for a simple breasted jacket. So I'll just show you how to make a pattern. When I make a course, you'll be able to sew such jackets without any problems. Let's have a look at the basic pattern first. First, I need to draw a new line for the armhole. I need to extend it by 5 mm in the shoulder and make it 15 mm deeper. The line from the shoulder seam down should be straight. Don't draw it with a ruler. Watch the way I'm drawing it. The line is round at the bottom. This is not the final variant. I'm going to move the parts of the openings here. I'll do it later. To make a double breasted garment, you need to add about 6 or 8 cm for the placket to the center front. 6 cm is enough for light clothes, 7 cm is enough for small sizes and 8 cm for big sizes. Sometimes it's necessary to add 9 cm. I'm going to add 8 cm. This is the center front, do not forget to sign it. As I've already said, I need to add 8 cm wide extension. Please be very attentive. The line I'm drawing now is the edge of the placket. The distance between the center front and the edge of the blanket is 8 cm. Here it is. Next, I need to mark the position of the first button. In double breasted jackets, it's better to make the first button 7 or 8 cm below the bust level. In this case, We'll be able to make a collar with a beautiful shape. Find the bust top point and measure about 7 cm below it. This is where the first button is going to be attached. I'll also measure and mark 2 cm up from this point. Be very attentive, please. You can add 2 or 1.5 cm here. This is where the label should start. Before I start drawing a label, I need to decide where it should end on the shoulder. This is very important. I need to make the front neckline 1.5 cm wider and 1.5 cm deeper. 
I don't want the neckline to be too tight. I'll also make the back neckline 1.5 cm wider and 7 mm deeper. It would be okay. The extra pieces will be cut later. I've changed both the front and the back necklines. What should I do next? I need to measure and mark 2 cm here. This point should be connected with the point drawn on the placket. This is a label rope line. Be very attentive, please. Once again. Define the location of the first button. It depends on the design. In my case, I have drawn it 7 cm below the bus stop level. That doesn't mean that you have to make absolutely the same jackets. Have a look here. This is the front neckline. Next, I need to measure and mark 9.5 cm down from this point. This is the beginning of the shoulder. This line can be parallel to the center front, or it can be slightly biased. It's almost parallel in my case. It's 9.5 cm long. Next, I need to drop a perpendicular to the center front. Next, I need to measure and mark 1 or 1.5 cm here, down from the drawn line. Be very attentive now. I want you to understand what I'm doing now. First, I measured and marked 9 cm down from the shoulder beginning. Then, I dropped a perpendicular to the center front and lowered it for 1 cm. Next, I connected these two points with a line. We did it to find this point, where the label crosses this line. This is very important. This is where it crosses the center front. Be creative. You can draw a color of any shape you want. I want to draw it according to this line. I've measured and marked 8.5 cm to the right from the label roll line. Next, I need to connect these two points. I'll draw it with a pencil first. I recommend making this line slightly round. It shouldn't be absolutely straight. Just 3 mm difference would be enough.
I can also raise the angle for about 2 cm. It would also look good. I'll outline these details with a different marker pen. I wanted to see how the color is going to look like. Don't tell me that I'm doing something wrong. If you can't find these techniques in books, it's just because we created them ourselves. Next, I need to draw the upper part of the collar. I hope that everything is clear so far. I hope that you understand how to make this part. This is how the label is going to look like. You can make it of any shape you want. This is a pretty complicated topic. But I believe that these lessons are useful. Next, I need to outline the front neckline. Please note that the collar gorge and the label peak can be of any shape you want. Draw them however you want. Use your imagination. I just show you the techniques. Do not forget to sign the details. These details should be attached to the shoulder seam. This point should be attached to the shoulder seam. I've outlined the front neckline. Next, I need to move this point for about 1 cm to the left. I also need to make this line longer. Measure the length of the back neckline and add as much here. I'll add 9 cm. This is the center back. When I cut the pattern, you'll understand what I'm doing now. I also need to draw a line here. This angle should be right. I need to drop a perpendicular here, measure and mark 8 cm on it, and connect these points. This line should be slightly round, it should be smooth. I'll make this line slightly round as well, for about 5 mm. Watch what I'm doing, be very attentive. This is the center back. The collar isn't ready yet. The upper part of the collar shouldn't be white on the shoulder. It wouldn't look good in this case. Of course, you can modify the collar after the fitting. Don't worry about that. Next, I need to make three cuts here. Make the first one a bit down from the center back. It's necessary because modern fabrics are hard to fit. I'll make each opening about 3 mm wide. Next, I'll outline this pattern to a new piece of tracing paper. And then I'll attach it to the front. Have a look at the rounded form of the upper collar. Do not forget that the center back should be cut on the lengthwise grain.
It's very important to learn to stitch these parts accurately. Don't make round necklines. It's not professional. Do not forget to mark the checkpoints. This is where the collar should be attached to the shoulder seam. Have a look at the pattern. This topic is very complicated. I hope you'll be patient, because I want you to improve your sewing skills. It's not easy to sew a jacket. I'll attach this piece of the pattern here just for you to see everything clearly. This is how the color is going to look like. This part will be attached to the back. Of course, you can make these details of any shape you want, wider, tighter, longer. Think of the way you want your collar to look like and try drawing on a pattern. It's not as hard as you think, use your imagination. We'll be working with the same pattern in the next video. I'll show you how to make waist tucks, go down to the pockets and how to ease the armholes. These videos are very useful. Please be very attentive when watching them. As I've already said, I am going to make a video course on how to sew classic women jackets. Do you want me to do it? I think that is a pretty useful technique. Have a look at the pattern and the sketch once again. So in a jacket requires professional skills. I'm sure that you can learn doing it step by step. Our lessons will help you to become more professional. This is what I'm here for. Be different and beautiful. My name is Pauk Shtirina. Buy my courses, subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and the bell buttons. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.